doesn't matter if you comment, low self-esteem, negative thinking, depression, inner demon, a gem, or just stinking thinking. It exists. Inspired by these uh, crybabies who practice hocus pocus. <clears throat> I like to say that I have an open mind. Um, I want to hear your point of view on life, whether. You believe it's uh, whether you believe perspective is based on feelings, based on perspective on the environment, witchcraft, the voodoo, brujeria, or just plain bad luck or good luck, bad parents or good parents. But I was sharing this a YouTube channel where these brujos or witches, whatever the fuck they call themselves. We're saying, yeah, you know, it's crazy that Trump, you know, wants to build that wall and we're already here. <clears throat> and I think I respond to that video at the comments saying, you know, the Clintons, Bill and Hillary and Obama and other uh, politicians, in their own words, on video, you could search it on YouTube, have wanted a wall or at least a physical barrier. Because of that, human trafficking, illegal immigration, and shit like that. But to say that, uh, you know, your mystical powers are so amazing that uh, I can curse you. I can um, make you step on a Lego. And then suddenly believe that Trump is um, the real life Freddy Krueger, the real life. Uh, the, uh, also wrote in the comment section, you know, in another video <clears throat> it's gonna be a point where <laughs> some sort of call Donald Trump is a skinwalker he's the Wendigo and uh, people will buy it but uh look is there evil negative thinking depressed people suicidal people homicidal people homicidal people homicidal people um Rapists, murderers, pedophiles, arsonists, bank robbers, thieves, like thieves, and the worst of all, Hillary supporters. All these numb nuts, crazy motherfuckers, evil, just bad shit exist. And I think, uh, I was, I was watching a clip from Flecka's talks to Slightly Offensive and seeing them encounter all these uh, socialists or co wannabe communist, wannabe communist. Talk about the bad orange man and hate speech of Ben Shapiro. And I think, uh, you know, what the, fuck's, what the fuck's going on here, man? You know what, where I'm getting a lot of my mental yoga from is from watching. Uh, I'm going to keep on watching this channel so I'll remember his name eventually. But uh, it, it's a farming channel. And this dude um, shows how to farm at home if you're just within the city. On a farm with a big lot or a small lot or a big lot. With chickens or with plants, man. It's beautiful, man, when you see his family get after it. Because last I checked, you know what I need to live? Uh, food, water, food and water. Shelter is a, is a luxury. Because um, I need food and water to 
uh, maintain my health. If not, uh, there's this thing called death, starvation that will uh, end everything. So yeah, I think farmers are a critical part of a of a human life uh, worldwide. But there's so much uh, distraction, man. You know, I'll probably could make a bigger book. Um, you know, tattooing names, hearts, and butterflies, and drawing uh, My Little Pony and, and shit that's more um, warm and fuzzy. And again, I can start off this YouTube channel with, "All right, guys, welcome to my YouTube drawing channel." We're gonna draw Rick and Morty here. Rick and Morty fan art, but this is Morty here with um. Jessica and in this case we're using um um the classic uh, Virgen Guadalupe um um design to draw Morty and um Jessica here. Oh man, this is gonna be funny, it's gonna be great. This is uh, retro art, whatever what do you call that shit, modern art. Retro art. Pop culture art. This is it right here. Okay. But I think I drew this art about four. Lost for words because when I hear all this shit, man, whether you're on the YouTubes or walking down the street or at a store or speaking with a client, <clears throat> speaking with people via the internet or in person, I hear a lot of um. Uh, Victim talking, vic professional vic <laughs> victimized perspective or enabling coaching. Oh, yeah, man. You know, Trump's in power. Oh, yeah, man. The weather. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. I'm so tired. You know, I could see if you're trying to sell lemonade on the uh, at the beach. And a hurricane, the weather, the weather gets in the way because there's a fucking hurricane. Or if um, uh, you're trying to sell muffins, but uh, there's five feet of snow outside. Yeah, okay, I can see how the weather in that case could um, fuck you up, slow you down. Now, the difference is between weather weather being you know it's 77 degrees and you expect me to walk out there post up <laughs> in the middle of the desert with ac or, or with an ice drink and starbucks within going distance in north south west or east directions oh, no, i'm getting lost man and um and all this fuckery
I'll mix it a bit off, but I'll keep it there for now and adjust it as I add more. But yeah, man, uh, listening to um, all sorts of perspectives. Even music, even this song. I think um, that action, accountability, realization of opportunity, not, not just opportunity, but realizing that you have opportunities for change, for growth, for upgrades, for better, for results. <clears throat> That the existent um, yeah, it just, it just gets to me. Um, it still gets to me. And people can't follow the simple uh, Goggins philosophy of, you know, don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're finished. Yeah, but whether you want to call it a demon, a jinn, an evil thought, a weak thought. Man. I think those things can overtake you, man. And again, true, pick your word, whatever the fuck it is that's um, making you weak, distracting you, or hurting you mentally. But realize that, look... Look at your fucking hands, man. They can do things. Use them. But apply that to your whole body, your mind, uh, your thought process, your breath, your, the freedom you have. It. <laughs> and simply calculate, you know what? M much as possible. And just execute. And... It, and that evil thought, that weak thought, that stupid thought, that stinking thinking, it could come back. Um, it could um. It could react and, and um, for you when you're thinking in such a way by saying, "Ah, oh, well." <clears throat> You know, it's not possible. You don't deserve this. It's too much work. Um, like, um, you should settle. It's not, for, it's not good for you. Yeah, they were right. I mean, it's impossible. Oh, what do you do? Um... And or something, something like that. Because I've seen people, I've seen people st start off on the race of life, on the on the road to success, ahead of me, with a better gear, with the illusion of a of a team, um, more hands on deck. 
and that's somewhere along the line they just decided to cruise and say ah, ah, um, oh man we, we could stay here and party man it's no biggie man come on That shit, man. There have been times in my life where I have um, given it to my um, weak thoughts, stupid thoughts, inner demons <clears throat> to just coast, take it easy. And, and I think what helped enable uh, such behavior, support such stupid behavior was um, being around people who also have done that. Because I think scarce is the person that says, yeah, man, not just go for it, but hey, dog, hey, girl, you want some coffee with that? Uh, give me some business cards. Give me, um, what's, uh, how can I promote you? How, what's your contact information? Do you want this client? I'll uh, spread the word around for you. And... You know, do you need an extra pair of hands, another body, assistance, man? And, uh, you know, they make it happen, man. And, but, you know, other people who are battling demons will just say, yeah, man, that's true, man. It's a hopeless world. Fuck that shit, man. Fuck that. Get after it, motherfuckers. No excuses, go forward. Trump, 2020.